Hello everyone, welcome to our Easy Redmine webinar, which is going to be today about knowledge-based plugin. Uh, my name is Hedvig Cebova, and our knowledge-based plugin uh, will be presented by our consultant Dagmar Kušnírova. So today we are going to see how you can share knowledge within your company. And uh, we will see how you can capture knowledge from a task or from a comment from a task or from a project how you can attach a knowledge post to a project or to a task, how you can categorize posts, uh, so you can uh, then show it to different teams in your company, how you can share or recommend posts uh, to your coworkers or to group of coworkers, and then how you can have quick access uh, to the, we are the right menu, uh, right on the, or via the light bulb. And via this light bulb, you can also do the full text search. During webinar, please use the Q&A section for your questions. Uh, I will play you a video where Dagmar is presenting the plugin. And at the end of this video, I will uh, answer all your questions. So enjoy. I believe that knowledge belongs to one of the most valuable assets in every company. All companies are interested in preserving, managing and sharing and above all using the knowledge that was once adopted by the employees. No one wants the same things to be discovered twice or even more times. That would be really inefficient and waste of time and resources. Easy Redmine plugin for knowledge management allows you to keep all the knowledge at one place. It's an additional plugin that perfectly works together with project management module, help desk or CRM. It allows you to save, share and recommend to your colleagues all kinds of posts like about uh, internal processes, project management principles or how to solve a help desk ticket or it can contain useful phrases in different languages for your sales representative. Now let's take a look at the, over, uh, at the overview page for uh, Knowledge Base. It's accessible via Menu More, Knowledge Base, which is represented by this bulb. So like this, we land at the overview page. This page is fully customizable, so you can change its layout. And usually we save it or you can keep here all uh, the uh, important posts for, for you. Now I'm showing you how you can change the layout. You can add more modules here and you have saved your changes. So in my case, I've got here posts that were recommended to me that I should read, uh, some notice board and 10 most recent uh, knowledge posts. All the uh, knowledge posts are uh, organized in categories and the categories can belong to personal database or global database in principle. So here on the right side, you can see the uh, structure of my categories and I can go to a concrete uh, category, for example, Easy Red Mine, and see what posts uh, it includes. Let's go back to the overview page and see the action buttons. If I need to manage the categories, uh, meaning I want to change a name of uh, some category, existing category or if I want to delete one, uh, I can do it with this link. So easily I can change the name of a category like this or I can delete some existing category. I go back to the overview and I want to show you how to create a new global category or new personal category. So for example, for a new global category, I select a name. It can be, for example, a category that would be called reporting. 
which should include all knowledge posts about how to create a report, how to uh, present them and so on. I can select some parent category, which would be, for example, project management and add some description concerning the category. Can be some text like this. I have created new category and I can see here on the right side in the tree structure uh, where it is situated to which parent category it belongs. So these were categories. If I need to filter among uh, all posts, I can go here. So this is a list of all my knowledge posts here. There are quite few here at the moment. And for example, I need to filter a post according to concrete author. For example, I want to see all the knowledge posts that were created by Dagmar. I can change the columns that are displayed. So let's say I want to see uh, when it was created. So like this, I can get uh, the list of knowledge posts that I, uh, that I need to, and I can actually export this list in Excel, XLS, for example, and Excel or CSV or PDF. Now I would go back to the uh, overview. Other thing that is quickly accessible from here is uh, your favorites, your favorite knowledge posts. At the moment there is one. And I can go quickly here to my personal categories. So at this moment I have only one uh, category which includes two, uh, two knowledge posts. Now let's say uh, I'm a um, project manager and um, first of all I want to show you how to create new posts, new posts from zero, from scratch. Later on I will show you other ways how to create one. Um, I'm going to create new knowledge post about Gantt chart, for example. Uh, I can select related uh, knowledge post, one or two or more as I need. Um, then I select, I relate existing or new tags. It can be, for example, planning would be a new tag. Here I, I would put the text, the information, the, or the guideline. Uh, any knowledge post can uh, include attachments, pictures, or other documents. And uh, then I select to which categories or to which category, only one, uh, the new posts uh, would well belong. So can be different categories. So like this, pretty easily I have created a new post. And now I would like to show you how uh, to search for some existing uh, knowledge posts. I would use this bulb on the right side menu. And let's say I would search for, um, well, it would be actually uh, resource management, which is here, but doesn't matter. This is only how to show you uh, how to search for it. Uh, I didn't explain why this is uh, 
displayed here it's because it's my it's marked as favorite so it stays here all the time at my hand so when you mark a uh, knowledge post as favorite it will stay here in this list so I have found a knowledge post that I was looking for about resource management and let's take a look at detail of the of the post um, there are some attributes at the top like author uh, how many times it has been displayed when it was created when it was updated uh, there is a number of uh, version of the actual version all the texts that are related and of course there is the uh, body of the post with the description uh, the text can be uh, formatted so that it's uh, easy to go through, easy to read. You can highlight uh, headings, you can add links to videos, for example. You can add, <laughs> sorry, you can add links to uh, other web pages. It can contain all kinds of pictures so that you can uh, offer visual guidelines to your colleagues. So you can see that the text can be pretty rich. At the bottom, you can find related posts, which I showed you how to add to a new post uh, when, we, when we created a new one. So for example, a newbie, when he learns about instructions for his work and reads one knowledge post he can uh, follow to the related post and learn additional information additional things and learn more underneath there are comments and you can add a new comment for example telling that something is not up to date anymore so you can keep your comments you are able to see the history of this knowledge post and we can see that the previous versions here when they were updated what is very useful that you can see the difference between older version and the new one and actually you can restore an older version. There are some actions that uh, you can do with the, uh, with the existing post. Of course, you can edit it. You can edit or remove it from your favorites. That was the action that puts the post in this list so it's at your disposal anytime under this uh, button more you can add this existing post to another category from the global database like this for example you can add it to some category for, from personal database. You can recommend it to some of your colleagues. So I can select a colleague and when I save this action, this uh, knowledge post would appear on the overview page and he would see it as recommended knowledge post for him and an email would be sent to him with the notification that he should go through and, and read this uh, concrete knowledge post. You can actually recommend the knowledge post to the whole user group, meaning to its members. You can assign it to a task, and here you can remove it, meaning that you can delete this uh, knowledge post here you can manage tags meaning that you can add a existing 
uh, tag or you can create a new one. And uh, remember to save changes of the tags here. Underneath, you can see to which uh, categories this uh, post is related, to which it belongs, and here you can remove it from a concrete category. So this was about um, a concrete knowledge post and actions that you can do with it. And uh, Let's take a look how a project manager can organize uh, knowledge posts that are related to his project. It might be useful for him to have all instructions or all knowledge posts that are related to his project at one place. So for that, it's necessary to activate module uh, knowledge base for uh, for the concrete project. So this tab knowledge base will appear here. And like this, we will get project uh, database with uh, knowledge posts. And you, you can relate existing posts with this project. How to do it? That's very easy. You can search for a concrete uh, post, for example, or uh, let me think about some, the one that we created. Sorry, we didn't save it. So it has, has to be a different one. Well, it was, um, let's take this one. So you can drag and drop it to the concrete project. And now it belongs to the project database and the project members have it uh, at, uh, at their disposal. They know where to uh, look for some instructions related to the project. You can actually uh, relate a knowledge post to a concrete task as well. For example, you want to give instruction to the assignee uh, how he should solve some problem or how he should uh, complete the task. Or you can um, recommend or tell your client actually how what he should do when he needs to solve some problem in case of help desk ticket. So again, I can take a knowledge post from here and drag and drop it. At the moment, assign it to a task. And now you can see that the knowledge post appears here. So the user, my colleague, when he works on the task, will know uh, what guideline uh, he should follow. So this was the way how you can relate uh, a knowledge post to a project or to a task. And I want to show you the uh, other ways uh, how you can create uh, a new knowledge post, which would be from a task or from its command. Here on the right side, you have an option, save, a task as a knowledge post. So I can click here and I get to a form for a new uh, knowledge post. You can see that the name was, the title was pre-filled with the name of the task. And again, you can relate it to, to other existing knowledge posts. You can add uh, tags. The description was taken from the task description. You can add attachments, uh, put it to some uh, database. And like this, I can create new posts, which can be very useful, for example, for uh, final project uh, documentation. So this was another way how you can create new knowledge posts. 
Um, and the last uh, possibility is that you have a comment on a task, an old one, or you create a new one. You put here some important information which should be uh, saved as a, as a knowledge post. So via this icon, you can save it as a new post. So again, the title was taken from the task name and the description is the comment itself. And like this, I have created new post. So let's review what we have seen about uh, knowledge management in uh, Easy Redmine. You access the overview page from Menu More via Link Knowledge Base. The over, uh, overview page is fully customizable. You can filter here uh, posts uh, according to your needs. You can create from here a new post from zero. You can create new uh, category which can be global or personal. You can filter among all posts and you can export the list of the, uh, of the knowledge posts. You can have your uh, some some posts as favorites and have them at uh, your hand anytime you need so. You can manage here categories and you can see here the the tree of of categories. On the right side, this bulb helps you to search through uh, all knowledge posts. And here, there would be displayed all your uh, favorite knowledge posts. Then we have seen that you can, as a project manager, you can have uh, some project knowledge database. So you can relate uh, existing knowledge posts to your project for your colleagues. And you can create new knowledge posts from concrete task or from a comment. I believe this has been helpful. This is all about uh, knowledge uh, management in Ease of Red Mine at the moment. And I wish you good luck with your projects. I'm waiting for your questions. Thank you. Great, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, so we have seen how Knowledge Base can help you uh, to build your product documentation very easily in his right mind. Uh, if you will have more questions or if you are watching this video already from our site or from YouTube, don't hesitate to contact us if you have more questions. And uh, with your questions now, I'm going to continue of record.